What is going on, guys? It is time for another episode of our Java OpenGL 2D game development tutorial series. Now, I know I haven't posted a video in a little over a week. I was having some technical difficulties with my microphone. I just wanted you guys to know I did not forget about you. I did not forsake you. Um, I just wanted to make sure uh, my video, ma my videos maintain the higher audio quality that I've been trying to get for the last uh, couple weeks. So I waited until I got the new cable for my microphone, and now everything should be back to normal. So um, let's go ahead and get started with today's episode. Today, I want to talk about blending modes um, for rendering in the game. As it is right now, we haven't worried about blending modes because uh, our test image that we've been using, you remember Nicolas Cage's face, is simply uh, a uh, JPEG, I think. Unless it's a PNG. Either way, uh, it has no alpha channel. And uh, for those of you who don't know, an alpha channel in an image is transparency, basically. Whenever you've got a transparent area in an image, that's transparent. That's an uh, alpha channel. The higher the alpha, uh, it, alpha is measured like red, green, and blue values in an image are. That's why you got uh, RGBA for red, green, blue, and alpha. It's basically measured like another color channel, and it refers to opacity. So higher alpha value in any particular pixel in an image means a higher opacity. So a lower alpha value means more transparency, and a, an alpha value of zero means it's completely, uh, completely transparent um, and visible. And so uh, an example of that is in our event listener uh, class. In our init method, we set the clear color for the screen. We set it to 0001. That's R, G, B, and A. So no red, no green, no blue, and full alpha. That means uh, basically a black color, a solid, fully opaque black color. Um, so an example of what we're trying to do here is we want to be able to draw images that have uh, no background. An example, I made this little uh, picture of a ball, sort of. It's an oval, I guess. And you see it's green, a green oval shape, but it's got nothing around here. Total transparency right there. And see, uh, if I drag this, you can see the, Im the edge of the image is where this little dashed line is right here. Uh, and there is nothing... Um, nothing in the background of the image, so it has an alpha channel. And also for future reference, whenever you make sprites and things for your games, um, most of you probably already know this, but just a little tip, JPEGs do not support alpha channels. If you export something as a JPEG and there's an alpha uh, channel and the background is opaque, I mean transparent, uh, it will come out white whenever you export it. So if you are you do using images that have alpha channels, they need to be something like PNG. There are other formats also. I just use PNG. It makes things easier. But you have to be using something that has an alpha channel. Uh, there's no way around that. So, looking at the the uh, render method, when we look in the render method, um, let's see, it calls window.display, which is in event listener, uh, which is display here. Okay. Basically, uh, in order to start using um, alpha channels in our images, to begin with, um, we need to do something uh, real quick. Uh, in the test player class, since that's where we're drawing our image at the moment, we're going to replace... I'm going to change this. I'm going to change uh, the frames in the animation to 1, uh, get rid of the second import statement, and then tell it to import the image of the ball like that. And so now whenever we run uh, the program, everything should be the same except we're using that ball, that oval, instead of uh, the picture of Nicolas Cage's face. And so um, what we're going to do is demonstrate that even though it looks like the ball is being drawn with no background, it actually is. The reason is the background is being drawn as black. And since the background of our window is black, it looks like there's no background to the image, but there really is. Uh, and to do that, I'm going to go into the event listener, into the init method, and I'm going to set the clear color to be 1001. So that means full red, no green, no blue, and full alpha. So a fully opaque red color. 
and you now see that we've got this black background around our oval. That's a problem. We don't want there to be a background around the oval. So what we're going to do, I'm going to darken that background screen a little bit by changing this to 0.05F because that is just too glaring to have the bright image like that. It really, uh, oops, don't press that button that I just pressed. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's easier on the eyes for our purposes. So to get rid of the background uh, of the image to make it use the alpha channel, first off, in the event listener, whenever we init, using the init method, one thing we're going to set here, right here we set, you know, we use gl.gl enable gl texture 2d. Let's enable another gl thing. gl.gl enable gl2 dot gl underscore blend. So now blending is enabled. But it's not going to do anything yet. What we need to do is we need to go into the um, graphics class. Actually, let's just stay in the event listener class and set up a default blending mode. The way we're going to do this is we're going to say, um, let's see, I copied and where is it? I, I responded to a comment recently and I, and I told him what to do. I want to make sure I'm telling you exactly what I told him. Da, 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 da. There we go. All right. Basically, what we're going to do is this code right here. I know I'm lazy. I, I just copy and paste what I wrote earlier. Uh, so we enabled blending. Already did that. I can get rid of that. And then you want to use this. gl.glblendfunk, F-U-N-C, not F-U-N-K like the music. gl2.gl underscore source, S-R-C, underscore alpha. And then next parameter is gl2.gl underscore one underscore minus underscore src underscore alpha. If that makes sense. Hope that makes sense. Uh, why am I getting an error? Mm. What's the problem with this? Invalid character. What's the invalid character? I don't understand what's going wrong here. Okay. GL dot GL blend funk. GL2 dot GL underscore SRC underscore alpha. GL2 dot GL underscore one underscore minus source alpha. Okay, that works. So I'm just going to delete that. Okay. Sorry, that, that was a little more complicated than it needed to be. I probably should have just written it out the first time through. Uh, so we enable blending, and then we tell the uh, OpenGL context what blending function we want to use. Uh, and we do that by saying this right here. We say the source gl2 dot gl source alpha, gl2 dot gl1 minus source alpha. It, you don't really need to understand what that means specifically. All you need to do, understand is that it does this. No black background in our image anymore. So that's just a basic blending mode uh, that takes the alpha channel of the image and incorporates it into the way we've uh, rendered things in the game. Now there are other blending uh, functions also. For example, GL source alpha and GL1 uh, what's our, maybe I got that backwards. GL. Uh, I always forget these. This is one thing that one of those things that you, once you write it once, I just don't write it again, and so I get, I never remember what they all are called because there's so many things in here that you can use. GL one minus source alpha. No. One minus source alpha. Which one was it? GL dot GL source alpha. Yes, I forget which one it is. I've got the code written somewhere. In fact, uh, in a later episode, we're going to be setting up a um, other blending modes. So just forget, just forget the last thirty seconds happened. Um, there are other blending modes like addition. That's very important, especially for things like particles. You're going to want to use an additive blending mode, and so I'm going to create a way for us to do that in the future. 
um, probably in the next episode, we'll do uh, more, we'll incorporate the blending modes into our graphics class. But for right now, I just wanted to show you how we're going to set up our default blending mode because most things are going to use this blending mode. So it's important to have that already done. And so, as you can see, we've got uh, we've got that going. And I wanted to get that done because probably uh, next episode or the episode after that, I want to talk about setting up some background. So, you know, like some ground. Since it's a top-down shooter, we want some ground for our character to walk around on. And it just wouldn't work if we put a player sprite on top of the ground and we can't, you know, we, we can't see the ground in the background of the player because we've got a background in our player's uh, sprite because we're not using blending modes. So I wanted to get that out of the way so we can just get everything, uh, you know, set up for working on that. And also... I wanted to go ahead and mention it because I got a comment recently. Uh, as I as I mentioned, I got a comment where someone was asking about drawing a PNG without the alpha, um, and or using the alpha channel. And so I commented on, uh, responded to his comment, and told him how to do that. Um, and so I wanted to put that in the video so we're all on the same page, so to speak. So that was just a quick episode. Um, if you liked this episode, don't forget to leave a like. Uh, and subscribe and comment if you've got any questions. I really appreciate you guys watching these videos and uh, asking questions and learning about making games because making games is fun, and I'm glad I'm, I'm able to help. I mean, I know I'm probably... Every, the things I do in when, when developing the games probably are not the best way to do things, but they're, in my experience, the easiest... Well, some of the easier ways to understand how things work, I think. It's like taking him a little bit at a time, and, you know, that sort of thing. So I'm rambling. Uh, thanks very much for watching. I will see you in the next video, hopefully tomorrow. If not tomorrow, the day after. Depends on if I've got time to record tomorrow. So I'll see you in the next video.